Today we're going to look at a brand new film that's been expired for a decade. So Koji 125T is a new brand of film from Atlanta Film Co., but it's actually a rebrand of an old Fujifilm stock that's been expired about a decade. Here's what you need to know. It is F125 motion picture film, also known as 8532. It was discontinued in 2011, but this batch has been cold stored and it's in good shape. Now, since this is color movie film, it does have that Remjet backing you need to remove in processing. So with Koji 125T, you can tell from the name, it is 125 speed film, although Atlanta Film Co. recommends that you shoot at 100 and meter for the shadows. The T in 125T means that it is tungsten balanced, so you can shoot it indoors, or you can shoot it outdoors with an 85 filter. Or if you're like me, you can shoot it outdoors without a filter because rules are meant to be broken, right? Atlanta Film Co. notes that this film will give you saturated colors, enhanced grain in the shadows, and since it's a tungsten balanced film, it'll give you a green cast to your highlights too. As far as the other specs go, it comes in 36 exposure rolls, there's no DX code, and it is currently $12.99 a roll. There's a limit of 10 rolls per order because this is a limited edition film. Once it's gone, it's gone. So what kind of images can you get with this film? Well, I'm going to share with you some highlights of a roll of Koji 125T I shot on the Film Cipher Photo Walk in downtown Columbus, Ohio. All the images you're about to see were shot on my Canon Rebel T2 with an 85mm f1.8 lens and then processed with a FlickFilm ECN2 kit, and then I scanned the images with my Epson V550 using Epson Scan 2 software. Stick around after the images, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that processing. I really like the look of this film. The saturated colors, I love what it does with darker skin tones. If your model has fair skin, you're gonna get that green cast. Of course, you can shoot with an 85 filter or adjust it in post. Now, as far as processing is concerned, again, this is a color movie film. It's got that Remjet backing, so you don't just process it like Kodak Gold or regular color negative C41 film. The proper way to develop this film is the ECN2 process. Now Atlanta Film Co's got you covered. You can go to their website and they'll guide you through the steps of sending your film back to them for processing. That's the easy way. They'll take care of the Remjet. They can scan your images the whole nine yards. I, of course, had to complicate things and decided to process mine myself. So I picked up a FlickFilm ECN2 kit from Freestyle and took the plunge. The process wasn't hard, but it was tedious. To start with, you've got to mix up six chemicals, five if you skip the stabilizer. And the only problem I had with that was the developer got kind of clumpy and it was hard to dissolve. Then there's the process itself. There's a lot of steps. Number one, pre-bath. Number two, rinse. Number three, develop. Number four, stop bath. Number five, rinse. Number six, bleach. Number seven, rinse. Number eight, fix. Number nine, rinse. Number 10, stabilizer. I'm happy with my results, but it took a lot to get there. Some people cross-process their movie film with regular C41 chemicals instead of using the ECN2 but you still gotta remove the Remjet. The FlickFilm ECN2 kit does include a Remjet remover chemical. There's various homebrew recipes online. QWD makes a pre-bath Remjet remover. Mike Rosso just uses his thumbs to remove the Remjet after developing. What you don't wanna do is just drop it off at your lab without checking if they offer ECN2 services. If they start processing your movie film with C41 and gunk up their chems, you'll probably be banned from that lab for life. One thing I really like about this Koji film is the labeling. Atlanta Film Co. puts ECN2 prominently on the front of the canister. On the back, it spells out the fact that this is cinema motion picture film and requires different processing than regular C41. This should help avoid any potential mix-ups at the lab. If you want to get your hands on some Koji 125T and try it out yourself, I've got a link for this film in the description. And a big shout out to all my fellow photographers and models featured in this video. Alexandra, Dwight, Edmund, Taylor, Taylor, Tia, and Tanoi. I've got their Instagram links in the description too. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some movie film.